Fun fact, I feel strongly that this is the most attractive address plate I've ever seen. My legs are really sore. I guess that's what I get for not going to any sort of exercise. Exer going to exercise? I need to do that thing that I threatened to do the other time where I just uh, don't do any retakes and don't do any cuts or anything because it's gotten a little ridiculous. Like, I mean, I edited it all out so you can't tell, but I'll say a sentence like three times because I don't think I got the intonation right on the other ones. I think what I'm, what I'm trying to do is sort of like develop a vlogger voice or a storytelling voice or something because a lot of the time I just use this really bizarre intonation that doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm rambling now, I'm sorry. I was talking about my legs. They're really sore because of Taekwondo. That's my fault for not getting any exercise before that. But there's some cool stuff going on in the orchestra concert. This is probably, this is probably gonna be my last orchestra concert with the University Symphony Orchestra ever, but that's okay because it's Bernstein and this is like cool music and I really like it. And it's really interesting because um, there's all sorts of viola solos in this music, which is not something that you usually find. Let's see if I can find some examples. Okay, I'll have to edit this part, put some cuts in here because it's going to take me a while to find the solos. There's one here and another one here. And another one here. I mean, none of this is like particularly difficult music, but it's, there's so much of it. It's so weird. Another one here. And that's before we even get into the West Side Story. There's this one. This one isn't a solo, but it's the same sort of thing. There's just three violas playing these three lines of music. I'll put a little note right here how many that was, but it's a lot, right? You don't usually see viola solos in the music at all, but I think Bernstein likes a lot of the small string ensemble sounds in the pieces that he writes. I'm not complaining, it's pretty cool. I don't have anything else to vlog about today, so why don't I show you my fancy gray hair? I probably have more than one, but this one's like right in the middle of my forehead and right on the front. See, it's great. It's all silvery and it catches the light and stuff. Isn't that cool? I am downtown again. This time it's for a coding workshop for East Park. Look at all this weird food. You'll have to excuse this. Right now it's actually much later at night than the clips that you're about to see, but I wanted to give you some context. After the code retreat, I uh, visited some of the neighborhoods in Chicago because I'm curious what they're like because I'm about to move to one of them so that I don't have to commute to work for an hour. Uh, and so here are some clips from what I saw. recording this because I know my sister would love this. Check it out! There's a grocery store over here. That's kind of important to me because I'm not going to have a car. Dinner. And we're back to 12 o'clock at night. Um, 
I had a lot of fun today. Between the code retreat and walking around Chicago, and after I got home I watched some YouTube for a while. Like that wasn't one of the websites I blocked, so now I'm in danger of starting to like regularly watch Shaytards and stuff like that. Anyway, that's beside the point. I had a lot of fun today because I didn't do any homework all day. Today was just like a thinking about my future day. And I, you know, that's, I like that a lot. As for neighborhoods, I really liked Wicker Park. And then I later read online that, well, it was a random blog post, no sort of, and it was only one, but he said that arguably it's the coolest neighborhood in Chicago. And so I'm, I'm kind of glad that I noticed that while I was walking through there, hey, this is a pretty cool neighborhood. Um, and if not that, I would probably like one of the uh, sort of high-rise in the high-rise buildings in the Gold Coast area, just because those are close to downtown. Uh, I, and I'm sure there's a lot of Chicago that I missed, but those are the two like most interesting parts of the city that I saw on my brief tour today. On the YouTube note, I watched some Cory Vidal today, and I was struck by how articulate he is. There's, like, I, I notice now, after having watched a lot of YouTubers, that, well, it's not okay, my god. See, I'm not very articulate. It's not that I've watched a lot of YouTubers, it's that I'm finally trying to vlog myself, and I was, like, paying attention to my voice and, like, how well I express what I'm trying to say, and there's a lot still to be learned about that. But um, I was very impressed by Corey's delivery, and and kind of Felicia's day, kind of Felicia Day's vlogs as well. Uh, she, it's it's a different kind of thing though. She has a she has a different kind of a way with words. But it but it's also interesting. Anyway, uh, I better edit the vlog and put it up. So, bye for now.